Hi, I'm Mike Stanton. It's May 10th. This is the BAM Weekly Muni Market Update here with Grant Dewey from BAM's Capital Markets Desk. Grant, thanks Thanks for taking some time off the desk. Sure. Uh, as we talked last Friday, some weaker than expected economic data played into a rally that started last Friday, spilled over into this week. What kind of activity did you, did you observe? Yeah, so um, uh, rate cut odds, uh, you know, kind of rebounded last week, as Mike said, uh, relatively dovish uh, FOMC uh, notes, um, as well as Friday's poor jobs data. And uh, that really provided a bit of a pivot for the market from kind of this higher for longer consensus to to um, uh, to provide a catalyst for the bond market. So uh, munis, um, you know, munis uh, were no exception to that. They performed very well. Um, Why does it take a couple of days? So, like, you know, I was looking at the uh, just on the 30 year uh, muni uh, MMD index. It's down about 16 basis points since last Thursday before that data. But it trickled in. There was a seven basis point move one day, three the next, six days. Why does it take that much time for the market to adjust? I just think uh, munis typically will, uh, you know, versus treasuries, they'll kind of lag when treasuries are rallying. They'll be a little bit more defensive in a weaker market. So I think that the moves in the muni market are, are always a little bit more muted than what we see in treasuries. But um, you know, uh, but the strength um, was there. I think there was relatively light trading uh, last week, so it's hard to to move the scale much. But this week we had twelve and a half billion uh, in new supply. It was all very well received. Most of you know, most of the deals were bumped. There was uh, heavy demand. Uh, the largest deal of the week was uh, one and a half billion Illinois Geo. Uh, which did very well in the long end in 25 years. It was priced at about 60 basis points spread to the AAA benchmark scale that you were uh, referencing. And so there have been quite a few. I think there's been six upgrades among the different rating agencies on Illinois. So uh, there was lots of demand for that. There was also uh, a Garden Grove deal, about 130 million Garden Grove that Stiefel priced. Uh, that had uh, heavy oversubscription, about uh, seven times over. Uh, they saw that uh, yields adjusted lower on that deal. And actually out in 25 years on that deal, they priced those with a 5% coupon, and those are priced really right on the AAA scale. So I think um, you left one part out about the Garden Grove transaction. It was BAM insured. Oh, uh, that uh, transaction yes. was uh, Sweet, wrapped right. by BAM, and that's an, a AA underlying transaction. Again, the, the trend we've seen in recent years that even BAM's AA guarantee adding value uh, to AA underlying transactions as a lease revenue bond. And Mark Capel from BAM's uh, West Region Public Finance Group recorded a Credit Insights video. You can view that on our YouTube page if you have more uh, more questions about that transaction. You know, I think that uh, right now we're in a situation supply is building for next week. We're up, looks like about 11 and a half billion uh, after 12 and a half billion this week. And I think, you know, more supply. There's been lots of demand for these larger deals, especially particularly for the deals that are have, um, you know, uh, relatively uh, lower rated deals. There's a real uh, reach for any incremental yield. And as a result, we've seen uh, credit spreads compress a little bit. So the market's uh, you know, in a in a good place. We've, I think, now year to date uh, at 155 billion, which is up about 34 percent over where we were at the same time last year in new issuance. Uh, and a couple of BAM insured transactions to highlight for next week: 125 million from the city of Georgetown, Texas, a utility system that's going to be priced by BOK Financial. 68 million across two series for the city of Manhattan, Kansas, home to Kansas State University. That's going to be priced by Piper Sandler. Um, and just one other thing, just on the demand side, uh, we saw the second uh, most active week for inflows to municipal bond mutual funds this week. Uh, Lipper reporting 1.1 billion dollars in to funds uh, in the weekend in May 8th. So again, retail investors are taking a look at those yields. Still relatively high compared to recent years, but uh, I think the, the feeling is the risk of, of further losses and further higher yields is, is more muted. So they're, they're coming back into the market. Yeah, that number is hot off the press, Mike. The, uh, but uh, yeah, I'd say the market certainly uh, certainly is performing as if you know we're seeing lots of inflows. So, um, so yeah, another good week. Great. Well, thanks for your time this week, Grant. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks, Mike.